name's Andrea, or Shadowed Lady Sith, um, and we do all sorts of things here on the channel. Um, it has been a little sporadic recently with some scheduling things and life, and we'll get more into that. Um, but we are here, we are playing on our Kingdom Hearts Marathon, if you are curious about what we normally do here. Um, I am normally playing uh, Kingdom Hearts on Tuesdays and The Sims on Sundays. I was considering trekking out Stray on the stream tonight, but I decided to stick with Kingdom Hearts for some consistency. Um, but look for a bonus stream probably this weekend, uh, checking out Stray, because I love cats. I have nothing else to say about that. I've been really excited about this game since I found out that I could explore an urban city as a cat. Uh, that sounds pretty great to me, I'm not gonna lie. Um, some other things to note. Um, my schedule has been a little bit all over the place lately and if you wanna get up to date on what's going on with my schedule, honestly the best place to do that is on Twitter because I, I can't share updates on Twitch, um, but I can share them over on Twitter and I am um, mostly pretty good about doing that. I usually post if I'm changing the stream or if something else is coming up or other things that I have going on. Uh, so it's a great place to stay connected. Um, and then you can also find me on my friend's channel on Friday, this says Thursday because I keep forgetting to make one for Fridays, um, but on Fridays uh, me and some friends are playing through Divinity Original Sin 2 over on my friend Marco's channel which is linked in the chat which has been a ton of fun. We finally got off of the Starter Island which is really exciting um, and we're going to explore the world and we're on a boat. So that's cool. Um, but we're going to go ahead and jump into our game today. So Chain of Memories is the second game in the series chronologically, sort of. Um, it takes place in between Kingdom Hearts 1 and Kingdom Hearts 2, and it does a lot of setup for Kingdom Hearts 2 while revisiting a lot of things that happened in the first game. Uh, this was also a Game Boy Advance game. So it does not have any of the original cast because there wasn't originally dialogue ever read and there's going to be a lot more readable text boxes um, like this one. So we are going to Halloween Town today. Uh, looks, I don't like the looks of this place. I bet it's crawling with ghosts. Ah, fooey. There's nothing to worry about. You won't be spooked if you already know it's coming. Not even real ghosts can frighten us. If they take one look at us, they'll be the ones to run away. You really think so? Trust me. Um, this game... I'll get to it after the cutscene. Welcome to Halloween Town! Donald's terrified, as usual. That was the best shriek I've heard in ages! If you're that easy to scare, we're gonna have a great time. I'm Jack Skellington, and this is Halloween Town. People around here call me the Pumpkin King. That's not conceited at all to introduce yourself as a king. If you're looking for a ghoulishly good time, you've come to the right place. Well, we aren't. Too bad, because at the moment, we've got a bit of a problem. Heartless problem. This is a great segue to what I was going to say about this game, which is that it has a very interesting combat system in that um, we build card decks and use those to fight us. I know it's a little wacky, it's a little zany. Um, roll with me here, go on this journey with me. Um, so we basically build decks. The decks um, are made up of cards that have different point values. And these cards, um, you can combine them normally more successfully than I just did to get kind of like super attacks, basically. Um, and you also have to be careful because combining attacks or combining cards makes it so that Donald, you are useless. Um, those cards don't recharge 
when you recharge your deck, like they're gone. You, your, your first card that you use in a combo is just kind of gone. There. And so we have to be careful because you don't get those cards back, and then it takes longer to load your deck, and you just don't have as many cards. Um, so we'll kind of get more into some of the combat mechanics as we go, but that's kind of the gist. Um, if you haven't been here for the play along, we are in a castle right now that as we, um, I'm going to read this, three attack cards with a total value of zero or 27. That doesn't seem the most useful, personally. Can't wait to go and call the Heartless. I didn't call them, I just knew when they were going to show up. I'd love to get rid of them. They actually go around attacking people. Why are they here? I was just going to go ask Dr. Finkelstein the same question. Um, so we're in a castle. We're looking for Riku and Mickey, who um, got left behind when they closed the, the heart, the door to Kingdom Hearts. Um, and now we're trying to find them, and we went to the spooky castle, and the further into the castle we go, the more of our memories we lose. Summon card, summon card, item card. No, we're not doing that either. I'm not using summon cards, because the animations take way too long. Um, we're kind of remembering this girl. We don't remember her name, but we remember her. And there's this weird group of people that all have very interesting hair. That's kind of all you need to know about the game so far. I can't you. Why did that not count? So that's kind of where we're at. Uh, we are basically currently going through worlds from the last game and kind of revisiting them, which is interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so that's been fun. We haven't gotten yeah. a whole lot of plot yet outside of spooky hair people. There's some sort of coup yeah. that some of the spooky weird hair people are organizing. Don't really know why. Um, and there's a yeah. weird girl that we kind of remember but kind of don't. So hopefully we'll get some more lore today. That would be really great. I will take the money I was hoping for health. There we go. Yeah. Um, so that's where we're at in the game. Um, I can't think of any other interesting things. Uh, this weekend was National Ice Cream Day. Did anybody celebrate? Uh, we went and got ice cream, which was very exciting. Oh, he cast spells. Okay, that was kind of a waste, but that's fine. Um, so on Sunday, it was National Ice Cream Day, and my husband and I, we went putt-putt golfing, which was fun. Um, I grew up in the Midwest, and putt-putt golfing is just very much a thing that you do. Um, I went mini golfing all the time as a kid. I love it. I think it's fun. Um, you know, it's not for everybody, and I can appreciate that, but I enjoy it quite a bit. I'm not good at it. I lost both games, but I had fun while it was happening, and that's really all that matters. Um, so we went, we went mini golf, and then after mini golf, um, I'm obsessed with the movie Up. Um, like the Disney Pixar movie Up. I'm obsessed with it. It's like probably, if not my all-time favorite, it's like up there in my favorite Pixar movies. Um, it brings me so much joy. I love Carl. Sweet little Carl. I love Russell. He's so cute. I, I love this movie. It's like, it's the best movie. Um, anyway, um, in the movie, if you haven't seen it somehow, um, there is an ice cream shop at the end of it called Fenton's, and I found out when I moved to California that Fenton's is like a, a real place, like you can go to Fenton's, 
and it's um, pretty close to where I live. It's in Oakland. Um, that was rude. Are you just gonna take my heal from me? Um, so it's in Oakland, and I've been saying forever, like, I want to go to Fenton's, I want to go to Fenton's, because, uh, like, obviously. Um, so we, we went for ice cream day, uh, National Ice Cream Day, and it was really good ice cream. Really good. So that was fun. That was a fun little, a little outing that we took. Um, no, we don't do a ton of stuff, but it's nice to get out of the house once in a while, and ice cream is never a bad idea. It's over. So that was nice. Um, we also yeah. went and saw the Minions movie this weekend, uh, which was very cute. If you liked Despicable Me, you will probably like the Minions movie. It was, it was very cute. I very, I very much did enjoy it. Yeah. Um, I thought it was yeah. really cute. There were a couple of parts that were kind of a little weird. Like, just a little bit. I was like, well, I don't know about this. But for the most part, it was a really good movie. Um, obviously it's a, it's a kid's movie. It's not gonna be anything, you know, super, super serious. Um, but if you're looking for something that's just funny, and you liked Despicable Me, you would probably enjoy, um, this movie as well. Do I have a lot of Moogle points right now? Oh, I do. Maybe we'll use the Moogle room and we'll go buy some, some cards. And then when we level up, we get more card points. I, mm, I kind of want to get health my next level yeah. up, but that means we're like going two levels in a row without extra card points, which is kind of scary. Like, yeah. it's probably fine. Like, realistically, it's fine. But it does make me a little wary to go that that long without getting card points. Okay, we got Wishing Stars and the Pumpkin Head. We got a low-level Pumpkin Head. Like, that could have been better. Um, okay. So, when I come to the Moogle store, I buy all the attack cards, and then I buy all the variety packs. Um, I don't get the blue cards, because I don't use ovens, because the animations take too long. Um, and I don't want a lot of the green cards. Um, but it's good to have some of them, because those let you heal in battle, and also reload your deck without holding down a button repeatedly. So I will use it some, but I don't want to, like, spend dedicated packs on it. So we're going to get these two packs, and then I'm going to sell cards, and then go from there. Um, especially these kingdom cards, like, it's nice to have a couple of them because they are such low level. Like, these are the cheapest cards to get, um, but they're also, like, the worst. So, and then, like, these are C, this is a C plus, the three wishes, which is, like, better than some of these other ones. So we'll keep most of those. Um, I also just have, like, so many cards that I, I don't use currently, so, like, ones that I have a bunch of duplicates of will sell, because, like, I just, I don't have the card points for them, to be completely realistic. Um, I don't really use ice magic, like, ever, so I don't need those. I'm gonna keep a cloud, we'll keep a dumbo. I don't ever use stop, I probably should, but I won't. I know me enough to know that I won't, so. Um, these are good, but when they're that low level, they're not great, so we're just gonna sell those, and I don't have enough magic cards to prioritize that. So, we'll get a couple more card packs, just in case we can get, like, a rare card. Not really, but you never know. Sometimes it happens. <laughs> Alright, so now we got some door options. We're gonna go over here, I think. We'll, use, we'll check out this door first. So this door, let's use... 
let's use the feeble darkness. Yeah, that sounds nice. Curious if you are yeah. hanging out in chat right now. Are you a nightmare before yeah. Christmas for Halloween or yeah. Christmas person? I think it's a great transition movie. I like to watch this movie in November. Kind of after after Halloween, but not quite when I'm in the mood to watch Christmas movies yet. That is my ideal time for this movie, I think. Not that there's a bad time to watch this movie, like it's a good movie. I think if I was just going to like specifically name a good time to watch this movie, it would be sometime between Christmas and Halloween. Fire! worked pretty well. We're only 500 experience for my next level, so that's nice. Yeah. I think we're gonna have to go... Oh, we fell right on that for less. I think we're gonna have to go health points next. I just don't wanna be... I'm so low on health points. Like, I haven't leveled up health in so long, which just makes me kind of nervous. So I think we have yeah. to go health next level, and even though I would really prefer to get more hard points, I just don't think it's going to be the best idea. Which is like one of the tricky things about That was rude. Yeah. Just ran right up to me, sir. Um, one of the tricky things about this game is you really have to like think about how you're leveling and like your play style and the kind of card decks you want to build and just there's a lot that goes into this game that is not as complicated in the just press press X to attack kind of button mashy games. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Like I wanna I think it's an interesting combat system and I am having fun with it for the most part. Yeah, yeah. It requires a little more concentration than other games, which makes it a little hard to just, you know, have conversations sometimes. Um <laughs> <laughs> Mostly because I'm trying to do math in my head while I'm playing, which is never a good idea. Really is. Yes, just not a good idea. Don't make me do this. Uh, but I think it's an interesting combat system. Yeah, I think we have to go health this time, and then we'll get more card points next. Maybe we'll do like two card point levels in a row or something. Yeah. I'm just annoyed that I got the slate last time. It was like not even that good of one because it makes one card un or like breakable for the rest of the the battle, which is just like I don't know. But it's like a lot of cards to use to impact the one card. So I don't think it's that good of a card, which is why I'm not gonna use it. Or ability, I guess it's not a card. It needs three cards to activate the ability. So I don't think we're going to use that one. Because it needs three nines or three zeros, and that's just too yeah. many. Alright, we can't open that door. I don't know what those yeah. gold doors are. I have not yet seen a card with a gold door on it. Yeah. Do they actually exist? Because I haven't seen one. <laughs> Um, if you are new to- th I, I really don't want to use the Bottomless Darkness card. That seems like a bad time. That- that does not seem like a good time. So we're not doing that. <laughs> um, yeah. I want to say, so for those of you that are just- this is your first of this, uh, stream. I want to say yeah. that level, like, six or seven is the furthest I've ever gotten in this game. I have never beaten this game, ever. Um, I have started it twice, and neither time has been a complete success. I have never finished it. Um, so I'm very excited to try and change that this time. I wish you had been facing a different way for that, but okay, buddy. Um, so that's very exciting. We're making really good progress so far, which is really nice. I 
I will not be playing. So like when you finish this game, you can basically play the game again, but as Riku. Um, and you get slightly, you get some more lore. Um, you kind of get a little bit more like Riku insight. I will not be playing this game a second time. Just full disclosure, I will not be doing that. Um, because I, I don't, I don't want to. To be completely honest, I just, I just don't want to. So, um, that's not going to be happening. Um, but I might, depending on interest, I might do like a watch stream of the Riku cutscenes if people really want to like hang out and watch that together. Um, I don't know if that sounds fun for people. I'll probably put a poll up on Twitter when it gets to that point. Yeah. Um, otherwise, we yeah. will be starting Kingdom Hearts 2, um, which I have played twice, I want to say. Um, and then we'll be getting into some games that I have personally never played before, which is really exciting. Like, it's fun to revisit games that I've played before and that I love, but I'm excited to, like, check out some new games, too. Um... So with this setup, we cannot play Coded um, because Coded wasn't adapted. There's cutscenes for that, and we cannot play. Um, words have escaped me. We cannot play the Days um, because both of those were DS games, and so those haven't been adapted because. You know, you don't have two screens necessarily when you're, when you're playing on a computer, I guess. You know, and just the touch screen mechanics and all of that would have been really hard to adapt. Um, it's not just, it's not the same thing as just like, you know, recording a game over to a new console or something. I I, I'm attempting to explain things that I don't know that I actually have any business attempting to explain. Uh, uh, but there are cutscenes for those. Again, I will be watching those during this playthrough. I don't know if it'll be like a watch party, or if I'll just watch those on my own and then continue with whatever the next game in the series is that we have. Um, but we are getting close to like first playthrough territory, which is really exciting. Um, so I'm quite looking forward to that. Um, I have never played Birth by Sleep or Dream Drop Distance. Like, I've never played either of those. I've played, like, an hour of one of them. I don't remember which one. Because um, I, like, played it, and then I, like, didn't have time to play for a little while, and then Kingdom Hearts 3 came out. Um, yes. so I immediately just went to play that instead, because that was the priority. I did not want that game to be spoiled for me. Oh, we got a gargoyle card. That's fun. Uh, it was very, very important that I did not have Kingdom Hearts 3 spoiled for me, so, um, that was a big priority. Um, to get through that game. Yeah. And I have some thoughts about that game. I'm hoping those thoughts will change on a revisit. Um, you know, once some distance has yeah. been had. Um, yeah. because playing it with 13 years of expectations and excitement left me feeling a little underwhelmed, which I was really upset about. Um, so I'm hoping revisiting it with some distance and kind of in the context of the whole series will give me a, a greater appreciation for the game than I uh, maybe really have. It was a great game. I loved the level designs. I thought the levels were great. Um, there were way too many cutscenes in my opinion. From what I remember, which isn't a whole lot, like I, I played it once and I basically did nothing but play that game for like three or four days. So it's all a little hazy. I'm excited to revisit it, but um, we're going into it hoping for a, a, a better opinion than I currently have, essentially. Um, and then... I will be playing the, the, the music rhythm game, 
Get excited, folks. We're gonna have a rhythm game, and it's it's gonna be something. I don't know that I've even seen gameplay of that game, because when it first came out, I was like, that's, like, actually the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Like, why is there a Kingdom Hearts music rhythm game? So I've never actually played it, I've never seen gameplay for it, but we're gonna check it out on the channel at the end of this marathon. So that's fun, because apparently there's, like, lore in the music rhythm game, because that makes sense. Yeah. So, we're gonna check it out together. It should be quite fun. <laughs> Gifted Miracle. A summon card, a magic card, and a jack? Like an item card? Reload cards and reset the counter while restoring HP to Sora and Fo Oh. Like, resetting the counter is good. Giving my opponents hit points, not good, and I don't want to put summon cards in my deck. I really don't. Okay, this is the red one, which we don't need right now, but I'll just go ahead and start loading her up. I'm gonna see if I have any other cards that I have like multiple numbers of because those are always good to um, have because sometimes you'll need like an exact number. Like it'll be like, you need a green six and then you don't have a green six. So you have to like go back and do a bunch of combat to try and spawn a green six. So whenever I have to like yeah. fill a whole bunch of numbers, I always try and be strategic about it. So that I don't regret it later. <laughs> Oh, and we're really close to another level, which is nice, so we can get some more cards. Well, we'll probably be able to get, like, a card. Cards are getting expensive nowadays. Fire! 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 Cards are getting pricey now that they're getting better. Okay, we just used a bunch of green cards, so let's go for a green card. Definitely getting the card point increase. We need that. So. I guess we went the wrong way because we have not found the correct door yet. We cannot open that door because that's the weird gold, like, bonus. I'm assuming it's like a bonus room. Like, there's probably something super cool in there, but you have to, like, find the super rare card that's really hard to get to open the door or something. I don't know. I, I could probably look up how to get that card. And I probably should look up how to get a card. I just have not done Fire. Yeah. for whatever reason. I don't have a good one. I just haven't done it. Yeah. Surprise! Ah. Level two! Oh, a lightning. Okay. Okay, Mr. Skeleton. I see you. using the red cards because a lot of them make the heart less stronger or more plentiful. So I try and only use the red cards when I could you hit the heartless please when I don't have Yeah. It's over. No, I wanted you to hit the flower Sora. The flowers are annoying. And they can have higher cards. As far as like standard heartless enemies go. Fire! Yeah. Oh my lanta. You're gonna like hit everything but the thing I need you to hit, are you? Yeah. Sora. Sora! So 
if you hit the Heartless to, like, initiate this little attack sequence, um, you get, they, they start off stunned and slightly damaged, which is really nice, which is why I always try and hit them first, but it doesn't always work. Sir, yeah. ma'am, whatever, could you not? Yeah. exciting happening recently um so i am in a strixhaven actual play right now which is so much fun um we had a really intense session recently um and by intense i mean like i died in the game uh which is not a negative thing i'm not saying that's be negative at all just to be clear um, it was super intense and really exciting and a ton of fun. Um, but we had our first strange character death, so that was really intense. Uh, she got brought back to life, so that was fine. But it was a lot of fun. Oh, we have a cutscene! The Professor. World famous genius. Yes, maybe I'm too smart. I'm afraid I've created something horrible. Have you ever stopped to think about the power of true memories? You see, our hearts are full of memories, but not all of them reflect the truth. The heart isn't a recording device. Even important memories change with time. They warp or fade, leaving us but a shadow of what we happen to remember. Could that be happening to me? It happens to everyone. Some memories grow ugly and some become more beautiful we could recover our true memories, the world would seem completely different. So I devised a potion from Forget-Me-Nots that brings our true memories back. Did it work? Well, that's the problem. As soon as the doctor got a whiff of the potion, Heartless started popping up. We're getting some lore for the memory concept of this game is what's happening right now. <laughs> I think Sora's memories are getting altered. Maybe someone swiped it. It must have been Sally. Jack, you've got to find her and get my potion back. I want to know more about these true memories the doctor keeps talking about. Excellent. Let's go find Sally. Where am I? Oh, we like went back. Okay, so we just need to go up, it seems to get to our objective. I'm so bad with directions. I think it's the store. I've been recently uh, looking at yeah job applications and a recruiter like sent me an email about a position yeah. with like yeah. it's over. Uh, like self-driving automation something or other i don't remember exactly like what the position was but one of the requirements was must be good with reading maps and i was like you don't want me for that job i am notoriously not good at reading maps um, I'm quite bad at them. Yeah. So that was fun. Um, but we're, we're looking for jobs because current job is like actually a nightmare. Yeah. I have so many stories about that. I don't want to talk about them currently. Uh, just, just yeah. in case. It's over. Uh, until something else comes along. Just for, yeah. you know, safety. Yeah job whatever i don't know i feel weird talking about it right now when i do uh, eventually theoretically find something else we will have lengthy lengthy stories about the nightmare that the last three weeks has been uh, which is really unfortunate because uh, i was promised things that seemed really a, a really aligned with my yeah. career goals and uh, preview for four story time, it has not been that. Uh, so that's been a lot. That's partly why I took Sunday off. I've just not 
been in the best headspace, so I kind of just wanted some time to, to deal with that and process that. And so we went putt-putt golfing instead, uh, which was nice. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. I have made a mistake. Oh, this is terrible. It's literally pitch black. Oh, and the combat rooms are black, too? Oh, no. Oh, this is bad, my friends. This this is going to be truly something. Oh, we leveled up. Nice. I think we do... I think we do another card point level here. Like, it would be nice to get some more hit points, yeah. but I think we prioritize card levels for maybe one more level, yeah. and then we just hit points. Back off. Like, maybe the next level we'll do... Uh, maybe the next level we'll do hit yeah. points, and then we'll do another card point. Yeah. I'm hoping to get, like, two Fire. more in. But I don't yeah. think- I'm, I'm hoping we'll get at least one more in before we get to the end of level boss fight. Yeah. Ideally, that would be good. Yeah. Oh, I forgot my deck is not optimized once I've used all the cards the first time. Yeah. all the good cards don't come back. We have like one really good round, and then it's kind of a mess. But that's fine. We're making it work. This is really, really something. It is pitch black. I like that you can see his little footsteps on the ground. I think that's really cute. I think that's a fun little touch for the uh, spooky dark rooms. I can't believe I used, I for some reason, I was convinced that that was a story door and not like an actual room I was gonna have to walk through. I don't know why I thought that. Clearly that is not the case. Uh, but I did, I did think that, and now we are in, in darkness. In complete and utter darkness. Yeah. It's kind of fun. It's uh it's different. Yeah. It's an ambiance. This is that we don't normally have in Kingdom Hearts. We don't, you know, normally run through a completely pitch black room. It's kind of fun. Yeah. yeah. If, I, if I say that enough times, maybe it will be true. Fire. Okay. Door is over yeah. this way. Oh, we hit that one. Nice. Yeah, so you can see these ones are stunned, and they have, like, slightly less hit, hit points. Um, which is nice. It's a nice, it's nice to have, like, that first move, so that I can just, like, load up a, a combo, and just kind of, uh, let it go. Fire! Which is Fire. always ideal. Fire! That's, like, the one strategy I have built in this game, is stun them first. <laughs> strategy. Let's do a premium room. That could be fun. So the premium rooms, um, during your combats, you can collect a little P icon, and if you do that, it'll pull a card in your deck and turn it into a premium card, which is basically a card that doesn't reload, um, unless you have a special card that reloads all cards. Um, but it costs a pretty significant amount of fewer card points. So they're nice to use in your deck. I like to use them to start combos because the first card in your combo doesn't come back anyway. So if it's a premium card, you're not actually losing the card because you aren't going to have it back anyway. It's kind of how I like to use yeah. them. With the pumpkin instead of the heartless. Good job, Sora. It's over. Back off. So you'll you'll notice like this keyblade here is kind of like the number is gold and uh, it's kind of shining, and that's because it's a premium card. So once I use it, it won't come back. Um, and those cards, like I said, are really nice yes. for um, combos. <laughs> 
So as often as I can, I try and put my, my premium cards in the, that first position. One, because it's a signal for me that's like, hey, this is a combo, don't forget. Yeah, um, except that one's very much not. I don't know what I'm trying to do with that one. Um, and also, because you don't want to like use the, the premium card as the second card in your combo and then not get it back anyway. So. That's kind of the rationale for that. Let's... I don't know what I'm doing. Struggling is what I'm doing. I'm struggling. Um, and the cards become more of an issue in your bigger fights, like your boss fights, because you they last longer, and so... Okay. Let's do... This one. Fair. That's fine. So now that card will cost slightly fewer card points in my deck, which is nice. Oh, I was hoping yeah. for some help. That's nice. Heal! Yeah. Yeah. It's also nice when they're stunned at the beginning because if you like didn't heal in the last combat and you're really needing to, you have time to do that before the enemies start. So I think what we'll do before we go into the next, like we'll do the blue story rooms, but before we go in the red room, which is usually the boss fight, we'll redo our deck. Um, just because we have new cards, we have new premium yeah. cards, and we have new card points. So we can add cards to our deck yeah. on our list. Yeah. Um, so I want to just make sure like, we have more cards since we can have more cards. I'm going to take advantage of it. Use what we got, you know? So we can see what deck building is like. So this game, it's my understanding that this is one of the more controversial, um, non-numbered Kingdom Hearts games because of the combat system, which, like, is fair, but I also think it's kind of fun. Like, if all of the games were like this, it would suck for sure. But I think it's, like, a fun, different type of challenge to try, you know? Like, it requires a little more strategy than I typically play with in a Kingdom Hearts game. Yeah. So it's kind of fun. Oh, we got the Creeper Plank. Oh, we're only, like, 100 experience for our next level. That's really nice. Is there another Heartless in here? Oh, there is. Good. We yeah. should level... No! Sora, stop hitting the pumpkins! It's over. So, when I said, like, we got the Creeper card, those are, um, enemy cards, which are another type of card that you can use in the game. I have the Hades card, which I always forget about. Um, and they do, like, different abilities, basically, so they give you different skills in the game. Um, they're kind of fun. They're really expensive, so I don't use them very often. Okay, what all do I have sixes of? I definitely don't want to use the Moogle Room. I think we'll do this one. And then we need a seven card. which is probably also going to have to be a green card, um, which is fine. Thought I'd find you here. Who are your friends? They're interested in true memories. You have the potion, don't you? Well, yeah. Of course she does. Sally is so good at stealing things. Could you could you give it back? I guess, if you insist, but I'm afraid. All the doctor did was smell it and the heartless appeared. What if someone drinks it? 
Are you kidding? What could be more exciting? Um, not dying. Oogie boogie! Oh no, the potion! You again. Jack, where are your manners? I'm just helping you put this to good use. You should thank me. Well, well, just one sniff and the heartless appeared? What would happen if I chugged the whole thing? That would be scary. Poor Jack, you can't hold a candle to Oogie Boogie. Pain and despair, Oogie, you monster. Come on, Jack, we gotta go after him. I mean, we don't have to, but we're going to. Because we're, we're heroes or something. Yeah, so now we have to go all the way back, essentially. Yes, I think we're going the correct way. I love that you can run through the guillotine. I think that's a really fun level design little thing. It's a little thing, but I think it's neat. I guess before we do that, I want to edit the deck a little bit. So these three are good. We can take these out. I want to say this is good. But I want to add a non shiny in there. Oh, that might be too much actually. 10 to 15. Oh, and they have to all be the same. Stun impact is 20 to 23. Strike rate 24 to 26. 10 oh, that'll give us a blitz, I think. So that's good. 20 to 23. Okay. Well, that's not what I meant to do. So we have six. Does it have to be the same or different? Three of the same. Oh, okay. So six, we could do 12 and 20. So that'll give us a stun. All right, maybe our shinies worth using. What do these do? Stops enemies from breaking cure abilities you use. Oh, that could be good. And then the gargoyle makes you invisible. That's only 30. That's mm, I think we put I think we put that in. I think we do. I think that's a good use of our abilities. We have a couple of zeros which are good to have. We still have a good amount of card points. So I think what I'll do is just kind of put in some filler cards for now until we get some more abilities. I want to get some like higher cards, I think. I think that'll be good. And then we have a new combo we can use. We have the ability to not have our cure broken, which is really good. So we'll see what happens. Worst case, it uh, doesn't work. Yeah. It's, you know, a little risky fighting Oogie without testing out our deck at all, but um, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oogie, hand over the potion! You fools don't know when to quit! Say all this running around is making me thirsty! Oogie, no! <laughs> Calling him Oogie, like, I know his name is Oogie Boogie, which, like, isn't the scariest name in the world, but calling him Oogie just makes him not scary at all. Like, Oogie is not an intimidating villain name. Especially when you compare it to, like, Scar or Frollo. You got Oogie, which just feels like a small child's nickname. Which maybe is the point. I just, it's not very scary. Okay. I'm going to. Oh, baby. Oh. No, you just tried to 
charging in. So I don't know where we're going next. Thinking about levels we did in the last game, we haven't been back to Tarzan, Winnie the Pooh, which I don't expect to go to, and we haven't been to Neverland or Hollow Bastion yet. Both of those seem like good options. Why don't you ask the doc if you can drink the rest? No, I'd better not. You don't want to? Too bad. It would have been a great experiment. <laughs> does not care. Do you want to find out about true memories? Of course, now more than ever, but there's this guy Axel. I promised him I'd find the truth on my own. You promised a guy that then tried to kill you. So like, does that promise really matter? Oogie okay, must have found his true memories. They must have balanced the heart and caused unpredictable changes. What about me? What happens when my true memories awaken? Perhaps something even more terrifying. Thanks, Professor. What's wrong, Sora? Does the doctor very scare you? Well, yeah, a little bit. Good. Fear and doubt are signs of a strong heart. They push your heart, strike out in new directions, take chances. Believe me, that would really not be fun. Thanks, Jack. I'll remember that. And good luck, gentlemen. May you always enjoy being frightened. That's cute. That was yeah. cute. May you always enjoy being frightened. What a nice little sentiment yeah. to leave Halloween Town on. Got another pumpkin head. Yeah. It's always good to just hit everything. Like, I don't need the health, but the Moogle points are really nice since I spent all the money. Although we are back up to a thousand, so like, we're doing fine on Moogle points right now. This is a very tall ladder. Hi. 
for a couple of levels, but sometimes there's a boss in between the, the floors. Now we have our cutscenes with our not quite right voice actors. <gasps> I bet you want what I try. Too clever. I'm Larxene. So, are you enjoying your stay at the castle? I bet it's nice to peel away all the worthless memories and awaken the true memories. <laughs> that lie deep in your heart. True memories? Yeah, true memories. Although, What's that mean? It seems that you're still forgetting the most important thing here. When that poor girl hears that you've forgotten her name, why, it'll just... It'll break her heart. Poor girl. Do you know her? <laughs> is she... here? Yes, she is. Who is this girl? You see, the bad guys are holding her captive. That's rude. Somewhere deep inside the castle. And you obviously are the hero, so you have to go save her. We're obviously the oh, hero. Girl. She's gonna fight us. Yeah. Are we gonna fight? Let's fight. Let's do it. I'm a bad guy, so you have to go through me. <laughs> I'm a bad Cheryl. guy. What great What's that? dialogue. Is that thing mine? You don't what remember a this? Shame. You've been wearing it I all mean, this I don't time and forgot. Either, so. No. This feels like a plant. That's not possible. You planted this on me. The memory has to be engraved somewhere deep inside your heart. I think you're making me think Sora, things that aren't actually true. Now. What oh what could it be? And who gave it to you? No. No. Meh. Sora, Sora, you're getting it now. Release made, the memory from he within just your made heart. Weird sounds. What is he getting? Nominate. Nominate. Well, it's about oh, is time. Was that the girl's name? That's right. Nominate. I knew that. She's yes, in the second she's game, the one that gave she? you that tacky little good luck charm. Not that you even bothered to remember. No surprise, seeing as you also couldn't remember her name. I mean, Talk it is a tacky looking thing. I can't thing. believe you. It'd serve you right if I decided to smash this piece of junk. Let it go. I don't know who you are, but I don't like your attitude. Nominate gave me this. It's very important to me. You didn't even know that like 30 seconds ago, Sora. How is it important, important to, you? to you? Oh, she's she's lightning fang. She Ten has seconds ago, you Wolverine didn't claws. even know what it was. We're, we're fighting Wolverine. Okay, I want to use Hades because I think that makes our attacks stronger. I really should have double checked with it's over. Back off. My plan is to just hit her repeatedly with this. Fire. Okay, fire she doesn't like good. Lightning. No, no, no. Vanish. Yeah. Lightning! Steel! Oh, vanish! She broke my thing! Oh no! That's not good. Yeah! You have no heart! Oh dear. This is going so well. 
Oh, that was dumb. I used that and I didn't even have. I feel so dumb. You're getting on No! You're getting on my nerves. What do you say to that? Oh, I fireballed her. Okay. There were some mistakes with the cards, but we came out on top anyway. We're good. <laughs> Leveled up! Oh yeah! I want more card points, but I feel like I need to take the health. Sonic Blade? Oh. Ooh, I guess we're doing it! What does Sonic Blade do? Three attack cards of differing types valuing 20 to 23. Okay, we need to adjust our deck a little bit, but okay. You're not as bad as I thought. You really are a hero. A heartless hero. Who asked you? Oh, does it hurt because it's the truth? You are just a baby. And if you're gonna be a baby, then here you go. Where are we going? Neverland? I think we're going to Neverland. I created that another would be card my guess. from your memories, you know. Be a good boy and say thanks. <laughs> so I don't see us going to Atlantis. Wait, we're like, thing. I don't see them doing the swimming anim animations for the Game Boy game. So that leaves like Neverland, don't you dare hide from Hollow Bastion, and then Tarzan. But we've already like Tarzan was way earlier in the game compared to these worlds, so I feel like that's not Sora, it. calm mm. down. She's not coming back. Yeah, chill, Sora. Sora? I hate this. Why'd I need someone like that to bring back Nomine's memory? Because it's not real. Oh, we do have Atlantica. Goody. I can't wait. I think we're doing Pooh next, because I love the Winnie the Pooh world. Okay. So, I want to make better use of this area. Oh, this gradually gives me hit points. Hades boosts the attack power of attack cards when low on hit points. I think let's trade this out. Let's try that, and then... Okay, so we need 20 to 23. We have three. So this will give us 12, and then we need an eight. Let's use this one. Because nine, 12, that's 20. So yeah, that'll give us the 20 to 23. I'll just stick some kind of random ones on the end to fill up our our bar. Just so we have as many cards as we can carry. And then I think we're going to go to the 100 Acre Wood. I love the Winnie the Pooh level. Ooh, it's like my favorite part of all the games. Throwing that battle wore me out. No, I really? sure did. It looked to me like you just plain lost. How dare you! You don't appreciate the nuances of an ungainly huh? effort. Oh, we got a new voice. Vexen. Real. How could you be humbled by someone of such limited significance? You shape the organization. Chin. <laughs> How can we help you, Vexen? It's not very often we see you topside. I came to lend you a hand. You obviously believe this Sora has much potential, but I remain unconvinced he is truly worth such coddling. I think an experiment would show if he really is of any value. I am not choice. an experiment. Hm. Well, here we go again. It's just an excuse, so you can carry out your little experiments, that's all. I'm a scientist. Experiments are what I do. Yes. I what present that. You can do what you want. But you know, I think testing Sora is just a cover for testing your valet. Valet? Your valet? What? He's the product of pure research. Who's that? What he actually is, is a toy. 
Who is he? You should just learn to be quiet. Is it Riku? I know Anywhere. Riku's here. Since you came all this way, you're gonna need this. That's Destiny I Islands. That's, that's our elder. starter world. I hope you use it to put on a very good show for us. I'm guessing we get that when we finish these four worlds. So we've got a. That's Riku. Okay, so Riku's working with the mystery. People. We don't have time. They've got Namine. We gotta rescue her. Dude, you don't even know this chick like two hours ago. Ooh. Sora sure does seem like he's upset. You be too. He just remembered a friend, but found out she's in trouble. Good point. I guess if we heard that the king was in danger, we would be pretty upset about that, too. We're going to visit Winnie the Pooh. We're going to save, because we have accomplished good things. Ooh, 27, that's not bad. Okay. So we have the worst level in existence, Neverland, Hollow Bastion, and the Hundred Acre Wood. We're going there first. We're doing this one last. I don't know if we're swimming in this one, but I don't want to. Like, absolutely not. No, thank you. Are we, there's not Heartless in the Hundred Acre Wood. Like, what is this level going to be? What's wrong, little fella? I'm looking for my friends. Are they around? It looks like nobody's here. Oh, well then perhaps I'm looking for nobody. I suppose it must be, but they don't seem to be anywhere. And all this searching is making my tummy rumble wonder if there's any honey about. But if I stop to eat, I shall first have to stop searching. Why don't we look for your friends together? No, for your friends. They might be around here. Let's find them together. Are you looking for my friends too? No, but I'm looking for some friends of my own. I know it's like to miss your friends, so why don't we look for them together? I'd like that, Sora. Huh? why you are so fidgety. Why don't you come with us to look for the rest of our friends? Guess he doesn't want to come. Oh, don't leave Piglet behind! Wait, please! Have you decided to join us, Piglet? Well, no, I'm still thinking, but before you got here, I found something strange in the shrubs. What did you find? I learned confuse. I will never put three summons in my deck. Well, I don't know what you want to do, but, um... Honey pot. Oh, I, I'm a monster. 
Okay, well, there's no friends in here. Well, this is Rapid's house. Yeah. Rapids! Oh, Rapids! Yeah. Yeah, I feel really bad breaking rabbit stuff. Yeah. But also all the money is really nice. I feel like we're in the second half of the game, so cuz I think their organization 13, I remember there being 13 levels of the castle, and we're on seven right now, so I could see things getting more expensive. Like, if we have C-level cards right now, I feel like we're probably gonna start getting the B-levels, maybe? That would be nice. Where did that pumpkin come from? Rabbit! I don't know what this says about me as a person, but Rabbit was my favorite character as a kid. I think that explains a lot about my personality. I'm glad you're here. Would you help me sort the vegetables from my garden? Yeah, I can sort vegetables. Yeah. Oh no, everything is wrong. When you see triangle, sort by throwing the keyblade. So why is triangle, I don't remember what X and B are. It's not gonna go well. Let's see. Square and circle. Okay. Yeah. 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 Pumpkins to the right. Yeah. Cabbage. Oh. Cabbages to the left. To get thirty. Yeah. Oh, yes. oh, I put the wrong one. Ah, oh, darn. Who <laughs> get out of the way? <laughs> Dang it, Pooh Bear. Yeah. There you go. Just sit down over there. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pumpkin. Yeah. Pumpkin. Yeah. Huh. We're almost to 30. Yeah. We only messed up twice yeah. so far. Oh, what do we do with the yeah. carrots? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Oh no, we got run over. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. I was confused yeah. about the carrots. Oh wait, we're still going. Can I just yeah. stop? Yeah. Yeah. Are we still going because I have more lives? Is that what it is? Oh yes. Because I would be fine to just stop. But not if it means Pooh is getting like run over. I don't want Pooh to get hurt. Yeah. 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 Oh, there we go. Well, mistimed that one. That's fine. It's a mini game. Thank you. Please take this for your help. Cross slash. Oh, we need cloud stop and an attack card. Mm -hmm. Cloud's an expensive card. I don't know that I want to use that. Yeah. Okay. We found Rabbit. Now we gotta go up a tree. I wonder what these balloons are for. We're gonna fly with the balloons. 
Reach the treetop while collecting prizes. Plus, press B to float up. I don't remember what B is. Oh no. Circle. B is circle. We want to get all the stuff, but we don't want to go too high and hit a tree branch because then our balloons pop. Is this the way I want to go? Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> that did not go so well. Okay, we're gonna do better this time, I believe. Like, we can't hit the, the bees, so I don't know what we're supposed to do to avoid them. This is going really well. Oh no! Oh god. I'm a balloon! A life! Oh good. Oh my. Oh dear. Oh, oh my. Perhaps a bit more. Don't worry, Pooh Bear. I'm getting as much honey for you as I can. Ah, turn, turn, turn! the way I want to go. Oh god. Oh no! I got confused! <laughs> okay, we're gonna get it this time. I believe. This is such a nice refresher after all of the the heavy combat of the last few levels. Like, oh, let's just stop and play some mini games because they're fun. Who doesn't love Winnie the Pooh? Is this the way oh, I want to go? Oh no! Ah! Okay, we have two balloons this time instead of one, so we're doing better. I just got confused up here Perhaps on which way we were supposed to go. Wait, why can't, can I only have three balloons? Oh. We must only be able to have three balloons, which is fine, I guess. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, that was cheap. It took two of them in the same spot. Yeah, this is so fun and stress-free. Gets destroyed by bees. We were so close to the top, too. It's okay. We're figuring it out. This is all about trial and error. Oh, oh dear. Let us grab that second balloon. Oh jeez. We went up too fast. It's fine. We're fine. Perhaps a bit more. Pooh, can you not be so greedy? I'm trying to keep us from dying here. Ooh. Too soon.
great. We're doing so good. I don't think I was supposed to go this way, but I, I, I did, so... I see a really big honey pot. What a lot of honey. Do we win? All right, we got some honey for Pooh Bear and we met Owl. Look who made it all the way up here. Are you gonna give me a present too? Oh yes, Owl, I found it rather fun. Maybe you could use a balloon to look for your friends. You might think so, young man, but serious problems arise when getting to your destination. Once you find them, how do you get down to them? What if you saw your friends, but the wind kept them just out of reach? Owl so deep. Keep moving and keep looking. Thank you, Owl. That's what I'll do. My tummy is anxious to find some honey. What'd we get from Owl? Ooh, Fyraga. Shoot a large fireball into the air and rain down small fireballs. That seems more useful for multiple enemies than big bosses, but good to know. All right, what's the next mini game? Is it the jumping one? For T-I double gut er Would you like to bounce with me? I mean, not really, but it'll, if it'll give me a prize, then I'll do it. Use A, oh geez. But the most wonderful thing about taking the time, the only one. <laughs> I'm going to assume it matches the four directional, like the buttons match. Okay, yes, that's good. So it's up, down, left. Up, down, left, right. Up, down, left, right. Hello. Doing great. Up, down, left, right, left. Up, up, down, left, right, left, up. I was not expecting two new ones on that one. <laughs> make you remember a lot. Up, down, left, right, left, up, down, left. Up, down, left, right, left, up, down, left, right. Down, left, Right, left, up, down, left, down, oh god. Honestly, I only have to get four more, so we should be good. I'm just gonna get it wrong, because I don't wanna, I don't wanna keep doing this. I don't need a super high score, I'm fine. <laughs> just, I got enough to get the prize. Not bad at all. We are just trying to bounce like you, Tigger. I'm surprised you could keep up with me. Well, I can bounce with the best of them now. Let's see you do this. What are we doing? Woohoo! What do you think of that? I could never. Aw, oh, you don't have to be like me. Bouncing is best when you do it your own way, because I'm Tigger and you're Sora. Woohoohoohoo! <laughs> Wait, where's my prize? Oh, there it is. He dropped something. Kind of weighs me down when I'm bouncing. I love Tigger. Rabbit and Tigger, those were my two favorites. I don't want Bambi. Could you stop giving me summon ability? I mean, it makes sense because we're finding Pooh's friends, but I don't want summon based skills. That 
that looks like an Eeyore foot, maybe. Uh, it's too, maybe not. Maybe it's not Eeyore. We're going on an adventure? Yes, we are. Oh dear. Aw, look at us holding hands with Pooh. Okay, if you hit an obstacle, press triangle to pick up poo, or you won't be able to pick up prizes. And we can roll by holding down the analog stick and pressing X. Well, this seems fun. And X by X, I mean square, because we're playing the computer version of the game, but we are playing with a controller, but you can't tell the computer version then. So it's not giving me controller directions. It's very confusing. Oh, we almost rolled right into that debris. That would have been bad. Oh no, crap! so well right until the end. I'll take it. <coughs> oh, it was Rue, not Eeyore. That was close. Not, not really, but... I was looking for Tigger, then I was blown away by the winds! And you got stuck? No, I was waiting for Tigger, so we can ride the blustery wind together. That's really cute. He just wants to hang out with Tigger. Instead of waiting, why don't you see if you can go find him? You're right. That's a great idea. Why don't we just tell him that Tigger is at the jumping logs? I found this in the shrubs. Why don't you take it? Oh, a mega ether. That would be cool if I used magic more. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Can I, can I exit? I would like to quit, yes. I don't need to do that again. Eeyore! Hey, I did find Eeyore. I was like, kind of right. Do you know where you lost it? Oh yeah, I found it. That's, I knew if I just listened to my tummy, I would find some honey. Can you why why are you glad to take take the honey, huh? I would like some honey. I mean I guess we'll get Pooh some more honey. Attack the bees with keyblade cards, blow them away with wind cards, and recover Pooh's honey gauge. This sounds very complicated. Oh we have like special cute little bee cards? Oh that's quite cute. Just win. Heal. Help someone. I do quite like the little win honey cards. Those are so cute. Heal. Oh, he's got like a honey pot like actually on his head. That's really cute. I love Winnie the Pooh worlds in this game so much. It's always good. It's always so good. Honey store. Oh. I don't know what that did, but it was cool. Yeah, yeah. Help someone! So if you could just wait for just a couple of seconds, yeah. we're gonna be okay. Look, we're fine. We anchored the bees, we saved the day, you can have your honey. Oh, I just got a mini game maniac Sora completed. 
I'm guessing there's a Riku version too. I can't imagine Riku in Winnie the Pooh. He's too serious and brooding for Winnie the Pooh. I was just trying to get away from those bees and keep up with Sora. Well, anyway, you helped me. Thanks. I was just trying to get rid of the bees. It was an accident we found our tail. <laughs> an accident? It figures no one would help me on purpose? Poor Eeyore. That's so sad. It's the accidental part of my thank you. Eeyore is brutal. Eeyore is brutal. I wonder what the elixir does. Ooh, it reloads magic and attack cards. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna save. I don't feel like I need to save necessarily, but like also it feels like it would be a good idea because it's here. So am I supposed to go somewhere? I'd better get going. Well that was quite cute. Wasn't it fun looking for your friends together? Oh yes, Sora, it was. And I'd like you to have this as a thank you for helping me. I've walked so far, I think I need a little rest. Who is so cute? To look for my friends. Then I shall help you look for them too. That's okay, Pooh, you should stay here. You mean this is goodbye? No way, I'll always know where to find you. If I don't forget. <laughs> That's comforting. Don't worry, Sora, you can count on me. Even if you forget Winnie the Pooh, I won't forget you. Oh, my heart. The Winnie the Pooh level always tugs at your heartstrings. We got a, a Bambi card. Thanks, Pooh. No. No. <gasps> Riku. Riku. No. What are you doing here? Not happy to see me? That's not Let what me I know said. if I'm getting in the way. You know, of something that's more important. That's I didn't uh -huh. say you were in the way. I didn't mean that. <laughs> Spare the excuses. I bet. That you had all but forgotten about me. Are you crazy? Come on. I came all this way looking for you. But you're not anymore, right? Now it's well, only I got a little distracted. you're looking for. You don't care about How me. How do you just know like you about Nominee? At all. About her feelings. Nominees? Are we fighting over Nominee <laughs> now? I knew it. Never even gave it a thought, did you? Why are we always just fighting over Just because you want to see Nominee. Sorry. Doesn't go both ways. Tell you the truth? Nominee doesn't even want to look at your face. Wow. <laughs> That feels like such a middle school insult. Why Naminé disappeared from the islands? Oh yeah, why did she Remember disappear? Remember that, and you'd know. Did I... Did I do something? Is it my fault? Riku. Go home, Sora. That's like evil Riku. I'll care for Naminé. Anyone who goes near her goes through me. Why do you have like a weird eyeball sword? What's, what's wrong with you? We're supposed to be friends. I have many Thanks, concerns. Since when have you ever cared about me? That's a little harsh. Namine is not the only one who's sick of looking at you. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> Riku is brutal Riku, with the insults. It. Apparently, we never were friends. Apparently, Riku just thinks I'm the worst, which, like, fair. We got some nice cathedral music here. Oh, I bonked it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. 
Yeah. It's over. Back off. Fire. My deck is very good for like yeah. the it's first over. round. And Fuck. then it's kind of shit. You got him, kid. Yeah. Come on, cards, cards, cards. Yeah. Yeah. It's over. Back off. That was rude. Yeah. Let me hit you a lot of times. Take this. Me? Lose? I I did get his ass. I got his ass very good. He didn't stand a chance. <laughs> it was like the easiest Riku fight ever. I realize I'm playing on easy, so that makes sense. But still, look at me go. Oh, Riku, please wait. No round two. No second fight. I mean, we'll probably fight him again later if he's running upstairs, and we're gonna follow him upstairs. Now we need to have an angsty moment in the stairwell. Is this round two? Riku, where are you? It doesn't seem like it. Maybe round two's after the next level, which we're not gonna do tonight. Sora, are you okay? Do I look okay, Don't worry Gooby? about me. Riku. What happened? Hmm, sure was strange. Almost like Ansem was back, controlling Rico again. Hmm. But we got rid of Ansem for good. Did we? Then I wonder what is wrong with Riku. Did we get rid of him for good? We did. If he's with Riku, he might be in danger. But the Donald voice actor for this one is not good. I know. You're thinking Riku isn't your friend. But that's just not true. You sure? Well, I know he said some awful things to you back there. Yeah, he was really but mean, But you gotta Germany. remember, we are in Castle Oblivion. My folks lose their memory here a little bit at a time. Riku's probably just forgotten that the two of you were such close friends. That's all. He forgot so he about forgot. me already. That doesn't mean we were My good guess friends. Is that's so. But Sora, instead of being sad, we have to figure out a way to help Riku get his memory back. If we all work together, why we're sure to get you through this. No need to move. I bet Jiminy Cricket would be Jiminy good friends right. with Mr. You Rogers. You shouldn't push your friends away. Yeah. Okay. Chin up, Sora. No sad faces. Sora, do you remember our very first promise? Huh? Always oh, smile. That was the promise we made to each other the first time we met. Just we not a realistic to never promise. forget to keep smiling. You're right. Is that the end of that cutscene? All right, folks. I think we are going to start wrapping up here. I want to make sure I save so I don't have to fight that Riku fight again. Um, so next week we will be back to continue playing um, our Chain of Memories playthrough. I think we're going to do Neverland and Hollow Bastion and then Atlantis because I, or Atlantica, because I don't want to swim, and if I have to swim, I'm going to be upset. Um, so we're going to put that one off for as long as possible, um, but we will be back here hopefully on Sunday. Um, Sunday streams kind of took a bit of a hiatus uh, just with some life things that were going on. Um, so I'm going to hopefully be back on Sunday to finally continue our legacy challenge, especially given that the high school pack is coming out soon. I want to get moving with our next generation so we can get some kids in the family and get to experience that pack sooner rather than later. 
Um, so we'll hopefully be back on Sunday for that. And I might do a Saturday stream checking out Stray, uh, because I love cats and I've been really, really excited for that game and it came out today and I've heard nothing but good things. So we might do a little bit of that on Saturday if I'm feeling up to it. Um, that'll be TBD. Uh, if you want to find out if I am going to do that bonus stream or other bonus streams or if I'm canceling a stream, changing the schedule, what have you, the best place to do that is on Twitter since I can post um, updates when I'm not live on here. Um, so that is a really great way to stay connected with what's going on here on the channel. And then some other things. Yeah, all the bonus streams. Maybe not all of them. That sounds like very time consuming. Um... The other thing I want to note is I do have a shop. You say I'm the best account I follow that you follow on Twitter. I don't think that's true because I'm not NASA. And NASA's posting some pretty cool stuff. <laughs> uh, but I make dice and tabletop games and all sorts of fun things. Not tabletop games. I don't make games. I make dice for games. And you can check them out in my links um, at sunflowerdice.com. I have a bunch of new stuff in the shop ranging from dice to jewelry and dice bags and pencil pouches for back to school. Uh, so if you're heading back to school and you need somewhere to put your pens and writing utensils and what have you, I've got you covered with some really cool fabrics. Um, they're very cute. They're very durable. I have one that like lives in my work bag um, and has been holding up really, really well. And uh, the last thing, this is going to say Thursday because I keep forgetting to make one for our Friday things, but I will be over on my friend Marcus channel on Friday. We are doing a playthrough of Divinity Original Sin 2. Uh, we finally got off of the tutorial island and we are on a boat and things are going poorly. Um, so that is always a fun, good time. Definitely check that out. That'll be on Friday at 7 p.m., not Thursday at 7 p.m. Um, I'll be over there next Thursday, not this coming Thursday, for our Strict Saving campaign. Uh, that is all of the updates I have for all of you. Thank you all so much for hanging out today, and I will see you all next time. Bye, everyone.